BA first semester basics to banks. In the last video, I have explained about Indian culture and tradition. This comes in the unit two, and it is the chapter number two. I have explained about the high degree of uh, spirituality, high degree of spirituality and honor. How the Indian people have faith in religion and uh, the culture is a very very I mean an important uh, aspect of the Indians and uh, also the honor and uh, coming to this uh, we have also discussed about the joint family tradition in India how the joint family service, uh, tradition is uh, very secure to the people of uh, that family and the head of the family is looking after the uh, faith and their uh, troubles of the family and he is also managing, he is also distributing the works in the joint family and joint family is uh, very safe and joint family system is uh, very secure and uh, very happy uh, in the Indian life. And also we have discussed about the <coughs> advantages of uh, joint family system. Joint family tradition, advantages of joint family system. What's that uh, I have explained how this uh, joint families um, they specifically uh, delegate the responsibility to the members of the family and um, they share the work and um, the burden and um, they live happily together. They get uh, lots of I mean, uh, entertainment and uh, very um, very very uh, soft and uh, super life in the family. So whenever they see the crisis in the between the members of the family, the head of the family must solve all the problems and all will be resolved by him and uh, he is uh, working in varsity and looking all the members of the family in the same eye. And uh, coming to this uh, disintegration of uh, joint families in India, especially when the advancement of the world we have seen. So one can imagine that state of affairs where each individual member of the family takes his own decision regardless of the difficulty of others. So when the time, the modern time has come, so many of them they start thinking about their own regardless of uh, taking the responsibilities of the family. So there needs to be a certain chaos, chaos, chaos and disrespect. disrespect. And this uh, disrupted the peace and harmony of the mind of the family. So that's why for this and more other problems and uh, each individual is thinking of uh, his freedom and each individual is thinking of his work so, and he is finding somewhere outside the family, outside the village. So that's why they are thinking of separating from the joint family. So this leads to the disintegration of the families in the uh, rural areas. And the next point is uh, religious activities. You know very well, the culture of India, the tradition of India is almost uh, included the practices, the, the, I mean worshipping the gods, going to the temple. So these activities are deeply, they are rooted in the Indian culture, all these practices. The activities uh, are lavish household affairs, they are very, very, very regular household activities of uh, every families in 
the rural areas as well as uh, the urban areas in India. So that's why for this everyone is uh, contributing their might, their strength, whatever they wanted to give, they give it to the I mean, tradition and culture. So these traditional activities result in person learning about their heritage. So through these practices, they come to know their history, their uh, religion, their heritage and their responsibilities and also thinking about the following the seniors and learning so many Puranas, Vedas and Upanishads. That's why by knowing the fact, by knowing the history, culture, tradition, they also carry on the same throughout their life and they teach the juniors. There are several rituals in the, in a, such religious functions which are difficult to understand the right perspective and present generation moving away from tradition. But uh, today's generation is uh, not uh, practicing well, not learning well the tradition and culture of uh, the family and uh, the society. They are uh, diversing, diverting, they are going away from these practices. And however, if tried to understand logically and learning from experience, we discover the nuisance which are thoroughly scientific and meant for purification of the body and soul. There is a lot in the Hinduism. Usually, Indian culture is uh, one with the Hinduism and Hindu practices. And there are so many teachings, so many great persons, they have contributed to the soft and smoother living and that is attached to the religion and if they are if they learn to them they can lead the life scientifically and very systematically and uh, the next point is many reasons it is a country we are different people are different religions are different cultures are different their way of living their dress, their food and everything is different but all of us are united in a single country with a single culture. So that is what is called Hinduism. So other than Hinduism, there are many other religions but all of us leading our life, understanding others well and living like our brothers and sisters and this is how the kind of a system, the kind of a culture we have cultivated, our forefathers, our seniors have cultivated and still we are going with this. In India, tradition has always been to welcome different streams of thought. So all the thoughts, there are so many thoughts, there are so many practices. And uh, we have understand and we welcome all the thoughts. That's what the kind of a religion it is. This is why Indian culture has witnessed uh, so many religions intermingling and prospering over the ages without bias. So Indians have no bias. They accept others' views also. They welcome others' way of life also. So anyway, welcoming others, living together and continuing and leading our life in a very softer way. That is what is the practice in India. Without any prejudice, we accept everything, we adopt everything, we live together and we lead our life together. So, to mention so many um, religions in India, Hinduism is the major religion in India and other than this, there are Jainism, Islam, Buddhism and Khalsa Panth and Christianity, to name few, have been in India over the centuries. It is a part of our tradition that we have not tried to enforce any specific religion on the masses. We are not imposing, not enforcing anybody to continue in our path. All of us are free to go in our way of life. The religion, we have no any, I mean, um, restrictions in our country. Our culture teaches tolerance. This is the very, very important, uh, I mean, thing in the life of the Indians. We know what the tolerance is. 
we teach the tolerance to others and we have progressed not in spite of it but due to it. So due to the tolerance, due to the adjustment, we live together and we have progressed for this sake. That's what we have in this um, particular chapter that is Indian culture and tradition. <laughs>